Hello friends, so in this video we are going to be talking about warm clothing. This is my warm, staying warm in the winter series for a raw vegan. So if you guys are interested, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you guys can stay informed. So in this episode, we are going to be talking about clothing and staying warm. Now, for the past few years, I have been working from home. So when I work from home, I don't have to get dressed up or anything like that. So what I basically wear is just like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt like what I'm wearing now and warm ups. And if I feel that I, this is not keeping me warm, what I like to do is under my warm ups, I like to put some tights, some warm tights under my warm-ups and this helps to keep me warm helps my legs to stay warm and if I have to as far as like with socks if one pair is not working for me then I add a second pair and honestly guys I have to really I have to tell you I really don't get that cold in the winter anymore maybe because I feel like I'm eating the appropriate amount of calories for for myself for my body that I'm not freezing all the time. But I know that sometimes, especially in the beginning when you're first starting on this lifestyle, you might be feeling, you might, uh, your body might not be used to it, so you might be getting a little bit more colder than usual. Um, and that's normal, that's normal. Uh, so that's why I'm doing these videos, to help you to stay warm during that part of your life journey. In the beginning, when you, when you're learning how to live this lifestyle, you um, you know you start feeling colder than when you used to when you ate the, the warm cooked food. And really, like I said, I don't really. It's rare that I get cold that cold anymore. But I did used to in the beginning. So this is why I'm doing these videos to help you guys during that time of your uh, health journey to help you guys. So, back to the layering of clothing. Also, when it comes to like me wearing uh, a sweatshirt like this, be underneath this sweatshirt, if I have to, I will wear a short sleeve, then a long sleeve, and then my uh, this you know warm shirt. I hardly ever do that, but this is something that you guys can do: is the layering of clothes, of clothing. This will help to you know to keep you warm and then if you have to also you can wear it like a scarf and you can do all of this stuff even inside your house because you don't want you may be feeling like cold and going through this phase but your family isn't and unless you live alone you really don't want to you know make the house burning hot and then so which will make you feel probably comfortable but your whole family is going to be pretty upset because they're going to be sweating and they're going to be not in a good mood and you don't want to do that, you know? <laughs> At least I wouldn't want to do that. So keep the temperature comfortable for everyone in the house and you, if you have to, then you layer up and you do these things for yourself because this is your journey and this is something that sometimes we have to go through. Even sometimes, like I said, I don't really have to do this that much anymore every once in a while yes you know I'll do it but I don't have to do it all the time every single day every single minute but again I did used to have to do this in the beginning okay so one of the things another thing that I like to do is and what I've done in the past and what I even use sometimes now because I have my uh, a little space of mine where um, I have a, a little couch and my TV. If I ever watch TV, or sometimes I'll, you know, be looking at videos, YouTube videos, and, um, and you know, just or if I'm even just sitting, sometimes I'll just sit there in that little area, and I'll just like write down ideas that I come up with. And in that little area, that little space where I like to sit down, 
and sometimes relax, like I said, and watch TV or other things. There's windows all the all around there. There's windows to my right, to my left, on the back, and it gets kind of cold there. It's it's chilly in that little area because there's just just so many windows windows there. So what I like to do in that in those moments is and what I've done is I have a little heater that I bought myself and I'll just put a little heater there and I'll just turn it on and it'll warm me up and warm that little area up without having to bother you know the family and having to have them be burning up. <laughs> this is just a little heater, a little space heater that you can move around for yourself. You know, if you're in the bathtub and you want to put it there just to give your, you know, the bathroom a little bit more warmth so when you get out or if you want it, in, like I said, in little, if you have, you know, a room that you love to be in that is always cold, super cold, colder than the rest of the house, but yet you love to be in that little area, but you, you don't want to be freezing cold. You can do what I do, which is just buy a little small heater, which will help keep that little area warm for you. Or any other area that you decide to move around the house, if you're cold, you can you know use that little warm heater to warm you up. So the next thing that we can do is we can buy an electric blanket. This blanket helps to keep you warm. And at night, I don't like to use the little space heater that I was talking to you about. I don't like to use those at night because I've seen too many news where they say that the house got on fire because it was a space heater and this and that. I don't, so I never ever like to use that at night. That's just my opinion. So what I like to do at night to help keep me warm if I need it is I bought a blanket that is electric. It, it has a temperature set and you can put it to warm it up. You can put it to warm it up as much or as less as you want it to. And what you can do with it is, of course, cover yourself up, or you can put it in the bottom of your bed, and as you can lay on top of it, you know, whichever one you prefer. And that's one good idea to help keep you warm at night, because like I said, I don't like to use the space heaters at night. I'd rather be cold with a lot of warm blankets on me than to have a space heater on, because I, to me, I just think they're dangerous to be at night, to have them on at night, because you're not watching them. Whenever I do have my space heater, I like to keep it close to me, kind of close to me, so I can watch it, make sure it doesn't fall, make sure it doesn't start a fire or anything like that. Okay, so we have been talking a lot about how to stay warm in the winter uh, using these heat space, you know, these little heaters, using the heat blanket, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so with all this heat, our skin tends to get really dry, especially when we have all this heat upon us. And naturally, in the in the winter, our skin tends to be a little bit more drier than it would be in the summer. So, one thing that we can do is I'm going to show you how to. Uh, so, I'm going to show you how to make a DIY humidifier. So, this humidifier is really easy to make. All you have to do is get a large saucepan, fill it up with water, and if you want to, you can put a little drops of. Um, essential oils or you can put little slices of lemon or cinnamon and this this will help to like give your house that really nice smell so anyway when you put the sauce the water in the saucepan you want to put it in the on the oven and you want to put it at low heat by doing this it will slowly heat up and evaporate and evaporate into the air humidifying your home so like I said again, if you want to, you can add um, essential oils or little slices of lemon or cinnamon or something like that to help also give that warm, cozy, smelling uh, flavor to your house. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can stay notified to my next video. Also, if you want the free ebook, it's down below in my description. Also, if you want to buy any of my books, there you can uh, get the ebook down there below, also in the description box. And I hope you guys have a great one. I love you guys. I hope you enjoy this day, and I love you.